my name's Daisy and today I am going to be talking about all my addiction to the world of Westeros. Yep, I kind of got addicted to Game of Thrones. By addicted, I mean really, really addicted. Let's just say over the course of a month I have watched 37 hours of television. But it's so good that you don't even notice that the time has gone by and then it's just all of a sudden, holy crap, I spent 37 hours watching TV. It's one of those things once you've fallen down the rabbit hole, you're not really going to be able to climb back out of it again. And every single person that's asked me now that has said, do I watch Game of Thrones? I'm like, yes, so much yes. However, I haven't actually read the books. I know, I know, call me illiterate and whatever. I know that most of the time I will say I will read the book before I watch the movie, but it wasn't a movie, so it kind of doesn't count as much. You will all be pleased to know that I have this in my hands. I'm also slightly terrified of dropping it because look how huge it is. And even the second one is ridiculously large. Let me just show you a comparison. This is how large the first two books are. This is how large my face is. It's almost as big as my face. Game of Thrones is one of those things that seems to increasingly get better as the episodes go on. Uh, after the last episode I just watched, I'm like, ha -da 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 -da. and I can kind of blame the addiction on my boyfriend because he's the one who got me into it. And because he is going to America for three weeks and I can only watch it at his house because I don't have Sky Atlantic at my house, I have to watch nothing for three weeks, which we decided was okay, but I then decided I really needed Game of Thrones in my life, so I'm reading the books instead. So as you guys know, I mentioned a while ago that I didn't really feel like I wanted to read Game of Thrones yet because I thought that it might break my foot. I think even if it did break my foot, it would be worth it. I know somebody's going to ask who my favourite characters are so far, and although this is biased because I've only watched the TV series, my favourite people so far are Daenerys, Tyrion, and I really like Brienne of Tarth at the moment because she is kick-ass. And for people who I have majorly disliked, that involves most of the Lannisters. One of the things that is now even more daunting about Game of Thrones and the length is that the tiny, tiny writing. I've now reached the end point of my video and as subscribers I'm sure you'll be delighted to know that I've finally given in to the Game of Thrones craze and I am just going to be going on about it all the time now because it is amazing. And all of you guys can thank my boyfriend for actually making me get into it. So thank you, Sam. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend and you get to read lots. It is miserable my end, it is raining, and that's not very fun. So I hope it is nice and sunny wherever you are. And thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and happy reading. Bye-bye.